This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Course D, Lesson 9, Fancy Shapes Using Nested Loops, Part 7. What happens if you also turn 90 degrees between circles? Well, I bet you get this. <laughs> to get this image, you still need to jump 50 pixels between circles. Okay, so I guess it's similar to last time. And remember, how do you draw a circle? Well, we definitely need a repeat because we're only going to draw one pixel at a time. So if we wanted to draw a circle this way, we'd have to drag over 360 pieces of block and then another 360 turning, right? Because you turn one degree each time and then you want to move forward one pixel each time. You want to do that 360 times because there's 360 degrees in a circle. Let's test. And so that's what our repeat does really well. It repeats code. So whatever number this is, is how many times the computer is going to run this. So we move forward one pixel, move left one degree, and again, and again, until 360, and then it drops below and runs any code underneath it. But that's only one circle. So now it's saying something about, yeah, we need to jump 50, but all, okay, so we're going to turn 90 degrees. Let's try turning right, I guess. And then we'll do the jump, and it says 50, oops, and it says 50, so I'm going to change this to 50. And let's see what this does. And now it's going to be done, and yep, so once it runs this 360 times, we drop below it, and it runs whatever code's here, which is to turn 90 degrees and jump again. So now, we have four circles. So what we can do now is put all of this in another repeat. I'm going to switch this to the number 4 and drag all of this up. What this code would do now is the computer is going to run it, right? It goes, okay, I need to run all the code inside of this four times, and it drops down and starts working on it. Oh, I need to run this part of the code 360 times. Okay, move forward one pixel, turn left one degree, boop, move forward one pixel, left one degree, zoop. 360 times, so we would draw a circle. Once we have done it 360 times and finished that circle, it says, okay, well, this is round 360, drops below and runs the next line of code, turn right by 90, so I turn, then I jump forward 50, and I'm ready to draw another circle. So, jump forward 50, and it drops, hits the bottom of this loop, and zoop, starts drawing that next circle. I do, though, want a random color in here as well. Each one can be a random color. Boom. Let's see. Whoops. I did something wrong. That's, that's not right. Oh. What happens if you turn, let's test this. This is going to draw them in a line. Let, oh, let's turn 90 the other direction. Stop. So we want to turn 90 and jump forward. Let's do it left. Let's see what this does. Okay, let's try it this way. Oh, there we go. We need the, we need to jump before we turn. I thought that, ugh. okay, so make sure you jump before you turn. And I don't want them all red. I want random. I was thinking it was the other way. So, one more time. We jump and then turn. So we jump and then we turn, which gives the circle a different angle. If we turn first, we end up jumping somewhere entirely different. That makes sense. And again, we do it four times. All right, that one was tricky. Awesome. Let's keep going.